This video covers the installation of a PeopleNet 2-pin engine data connection in a Volvo VN. For a printable PDF version, visit the PeopleNet Online Support Center, search on the word Volvo, and you'll see a list of the available documents. First, open the cup holder and remove the two T25 Torx head screws securing the fuse panel cover. Gently pop off the cover and set it aside. With the cover off, you'll see our engine data connections there in the front right corner of this compartment. The connectors are usually secured with a single zip tie. Take your side cutters, carefully reach in and cut that tie and remove the connectors, making sure not to cut the cables. There are two connectors here. The black 2-pin is the J1708 data and the gray is the J1939. Whenever they're available, we're going to use both connectors. We'll first connect the J1939 engine data. Take the gray connector, disconnect the terminating resistor from the end, insert that in the matching connector of the PeopleNet cable. Take the opposite end of the PeopleNet cable and insert that into the vehicle connector. We now have a complete circuit starting at the vehicle going through the PeopleNet cable and ending at the terminating resistor. We will now connect the older J1708 data. This is very important, especially on vehicles prior to 2013. To connect to it, we'll use an adapter. It comes in the kit along with the cable. This is labeled Volvo Mac. We'll plug one end into the vehicle. The opposite end will then plug into the black 2-pin on the PeopleNet cable. To review the connections we've made, one, we've got the PeopleNet J1708 plugged into the pigtail connector. Two, that pigtail connector is plugged into the vehicle's J1708. Three, the terminating resistor from the vehicle is plugged into the PeopleNet female J1939 connector. And four, the PeopleNet male is plugged into the vehicle female. We'd also like to note some vehicles especially around the 2010-2011 range, were wired backwards from the factory. Anytime you connect to a Volvo, make sure that the green passes to green and yellow passes to yellow at the vehicle connection. If the wires are reversed, follow these instructions to correct the error. It's fairly simple. You will remove the orange lock from the vehicle side connection, take a small screwdriver, and lift up the small tabs that hold the pins in place. Remove the pins, reverse them, reinsert them, and put the orange lock back in place. To confirm our connections, start the engine. Now on the PeopleNet screen, navigate to System, OBC Diagnostic, Diagnostic Performex. Verify that the RPM is reading. Verify that the odometer matches the dash. In some Volvos, that can take 5 to 10 minutes to update. Verify that the fuel value is greater than zero. This is particularly important on Volvos because some of the early years separated the fuel onto a different circuit. And we want to make sure that we have both the 1708 and the 1939 reading. For issues or concerns, contact PeopleNet Technical Support at 888-346-3486, extension 1.